What is up guys, it is Will here. Today I'm going to be looking at the top 5 forgotten secrets and easter eggs from the third World at War zombie map, Shino Noom. So in this video I did group a few easter eggs together into one and they are mostly the radio easter egg. Anyway, I do hope you're going to enjoy the video. If you do, please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. This video may be a touch longer than normal, but let's get straight into the video. At number 5 we have the radio transmission within the spawn room. So there are three radios within the room and once you activate them using the action button you will hear the following. An automated voice said R4808 and 37-14-06-115-48-40. This is followed by Cornelius Pernell who said, I hope you received this transmission Peter. If you are not, then all hope is lost. You must know by now that we failed to contain the asylum that we had to move the experiment here, the location. The numbers will guide you. The giant must remain at all costs. Repeat, De Reese must be contained at all costs. The DG2 experiments continue. You'll be our only advantage now. Find Dr. Richtofen and Dr. Maxis. They may know what's going on. The use of 115 is dangerous at best. I'm not sure if we can continue here. We've lost most of our best team. I hope you get that. I hope it hasn't happened there too, but I'm almost out of hope. An automated message voice then follows again saying 60 54 06 96 101 55 44 .94. Both sets of these numbers guys are references to the coordinates of Area 51 and Tunguska. At number 4 we have Dr. Peter McCain. Peter is a character that can be found hanging in the spawn room. He's found hanging from the ceiling from a rope. In the World at War version of Shino Nome, if grenades are thrown just under Peter towards the lamplighter on the ground, he will fall to the ground. This doesn't work however in the Call of Duty Black Ops version of, of Shino Numa. So who is Peter? Dr. Peter McCain is a character in Shino Numa. He's never actually heard, but there are references to. He was an OSS spy sent to infiltrate Group 935. He originally worked as a lab assistant at De Ries, but then was transferred to Varok, another Group 935 controlled facility. He was then captured, a Marine recon team led by Tank Dempsey was sent to Varok to rescue him. He was apparently killed before they got there and Dempsey, the only survivor, was captured by Group 935 and experimented on. If you look closely, he is missing a left arm. Based on the paragraph I read out at number 5, the audio transmission, it can be assumed that Peter worked on the apparent experiments that are the Nazi zombies. It can also be assumed that Peter is American because the speaker of the above paragraph, the radio transmission, has an American accent. Other than this Easter egg, Peter has never appeared or been referenced in Call of Duty. His fate is unknown. Treyarch has confirmed that the Hanging Man is indeed Peter. It has also been revealed that Peter was a double agent implanted by the Americans, but after losing contact with him, a Marine Recon team was sent to extract him from the asylum led by Tank Dempsey, but they only found his arm on the power switch shortly after arriving the team was pronounced MIA and never heard nor seen again. At number 3 we have the element 115 Meteor in Shino Numa. So this can be found in the storage room area of the map and is on the right hand side of the map. The meteor is a glowing red and contains the element 115. Element 115 was discovered by the Germans during World War I in northern France by listening to the radio transmissions in both Shino Numa and Deris and listening to the characters' quotes. It is extensively used by Group 935. 
In the zombie storyline, Element 115 is harvested from meteorites that have been found in Shinonuma, Deris, and Groom Lake, aka Area 51, the Tunguska site, and the moon. One of those meteors can be seen in Shinonuma, and until the release of Call of Duty Black Ops, this was the only map that had a meteor that we could actually find. Meteor fragments have been found in Kino de Toten, Call of the Dead, Shangri-La, and Origins. When the meteor is shot in Shinonuma, all four characters each have a different quote. Tank Dempsey's quote is, I wonder if that rock brought all in freak bags here. Nikolai Belinsky's quotas, I think the Red Menace would have been interested in this space rock. Takio Misaki's quotas, this rock, it is not of this place. And lastly, Edward Richtofen's quotas, ah, that rock, must be where element 115 comes from. At number two, we have quite a strange easter egg within the Doctor's quarters and I have absolutely no idea what it is, why it's there or what its purpose is. But if you go up to the shelf in the Doctor's quarters guys and press the action button, you hear a screaming noise. It's super strange guys and I can't find anything about it so I just thought I'd chuck that in there because I never realised it was there until I was doing research on it. At number one, we have the radio transmissions from around the map. To activate these radios, just press the action button. The first radio can be found within the doctor's quarters. When activated, you will hear a person laughing and then the person whispers the words, element 115 and find Dr. Richtofen. Revive soda. Mmm, this tastes a little like sushi. they are the only words we can understand from the radio transmission. In the storage hut there are two radios, one radio will play the audio from the Varuk trailer called Just the Beginning. The Emperor has given us a bounty of ammo! The second radio located next to the mystery box spawn point. When activated, you will hear gunshots and screaming. Lastly, in the comms room when the radio is activated, you will hear static then a strange robotic voice. So they are the top 5 forgotten secrets and easter eggs from the map Shino Numa. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, so I hope you guys have noticed that I'm trying to get a video out a day now, if not every other day at a minimum, and this is because I want to be more active and don't want you guys to wait on me for the content, and that's why I'm going for a video every day. So tomorrow's video is going to be an amazing theory based video and will actually be the start of a new playlist that will be in conjunction with this playlist, they will both work together hand in hand, and I think you guys will absolutely love it. I will be explaining why I think Rick Toffin killed Peter McCain which is sort of a carry-on from this video. As I said, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.